A portion of today's video is kindly sponsored by Factor. Well, hey friends, so glad you stopped by to hang out with me today. It's been a while since I've picked up the camera because I was on an extended holiday, an extended break from work, but I'm back at it and it doesn't even feel like work at this point because I have missed you. I hope you all have been well. Weston and I literally last night got in from our trip to Ireland and we came home to a clean house and then proceeded to make a mess in it. I don't know what this video is, just a vlog, hanging out together, getting some stuff done, doing a bit of decluttering and unpacking and settling in and sharing with you how the last couple of weeks have gone. We're gonna start here in the laundry room because this is probably the biggest task that I have to do and I would like to get this done sooner rather than later. Get that laundry rolling and that can be washing and drying and processing through all day while I work on other stuff. I'm gonna try to also take it easy today. I am pretty tired. I am gonna try to get through what I can but not, not freak out <laughs> about the rest. And it's a gorgeous day right now and I really want to step outside. But before I do that, let me get this kitchen island cleared off. I feel like I would feel better with that going. Got the laundry started and I'm gonna get this mess under control. If you're new here, I'd like to give you a warm welcome. Hi, my name is Natalie and I love to make videos about homemaking and simple living. I like to balance peacefulness with productivity and I would always love to be able to gently motivate you or to inspire you to take some downtime if that's what you like to do while you're watching YouTube videos. And for those of you who have seen my videos before, welcome back. Like I said earlier, I have missed being able to post videos, but the break has just been so wonderful. So thank you so much for your patience while I was gone. I'm so excited to be able to share with you a few little highlights and clips here and there from our Ireland trip throughout this video. But if you would like to see the full travel vlog for our Ireland trip, I will leave my Patreon linked in the description box. It's just five bucks a month over there and you actually get access to everything that I've ever posted on that platform. I like to post just the extra stuff over there and the Ireland trip is part of that. One of my favorite places we visited when we were in Northern Ireland was the Giant's Causeway. Amazing, the basalt columns that are just like naturally forming in these geometric patterns. It was so cool to see and when we were uh, visiting Dunluce Castle, which is down the road a ways, I found this handmade pottery for sale uh, using some of the mud or clay from the Giant's Causeway. So I added this to my collection and brought it home with me. Isn't that pretty? Got a couple of other uh, souvenirs and little things that we picked up for the kids for our home. Actually, we had a family member of Weston's give us a couple of things too, which was really sweet. I'll do sort of a souvenir haul for you guys in a little bit. But getting this kitchen taken care of, wiped down, getting the sink taken care of, this feels so much better. I definitely have more to do around the house, but I think I'm gonna sit outside for a minute. This beautiful sunshine is calling my name. Let's go. got some popsicles that we're enjoying. I'm sitting here thinking, man, there's like nothing in our fridge, nothing to eat. What am I gonna make for dinner tonight? You know, all of those mom homemaker thoughts. And guess who shows up? Can anyone say factor? Factor! Yay! Weston and I actually picked our factor meals for this week, back when we were in Ireland. And I am so excited to open that box and get my fridge stocked up. And thanks so much to Factor for sponsoring the next couple of minutes of today's video. Factor is America's number one ready to heat meal kit offering a wide variety of delicious and nutritious meals that are delivered straight to your door. 
Weston and I enjoy picking out our meals on the Factor website or mobile app. They offer protein packed, keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and even vegan and veggie options. It's easy to select exactly what we're craving and what fits our dietary or lifestyle needs. And every meal is delivered fresh, never frozen. Just heat, eat, and enjoy. Factor meals can be heated in the oven or the microwave in just minutes. And one of the things I love so much about Factor is their flexibility and customizability. When we were out of town, we were able to pause our subscription and also choose what we wanted to be ready for us when we get back. Jeremy Parmesan chicken, sun-dried tomato chicken, my favorite. Turkey, chili, and zucchini. The sage and black pepper pork. That one's your favorite, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I always order it when it comes on the rotation. Oh my goodness, one of the things I missed about Factor, I missed a few things, but the wellness shots, oh my gosh, I was craving them. I usually have one in the morning. Every morning on our trip, I was like, oh, I just really want the turmeric spice one. Oh, so good. And they're good for you. If you'd like to check out Factor for yourself, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code NATALIEB50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and then 20% off your next box. That's code NATALIEB50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. Thanks again so much to Factor for sponsoring that part of today's video and for being such a great support of my channel and helping me help support my family and making free content available over here for you guys. And I really have you all to thank for the love and support which enables me to work with sponsors that I absolutely love. I'm so, so grateful. After a very rainy week in Ireland, um, I am just enjoying the sunshine so much. It was so funny. Everywhere we went, um, when people would recognize that we were American, one of the first comments was, oh, so sorry for this weather that we've been having. Oh, the weather's just been awful. And Weston and I, we are not scared of rain. We actually really enjoyed it. It was very cozy. It was really sweet to like sit in a little coffee shop or a pub and just have the rain drenching down the windows or to be in our Airbnbs or hotel rooms. It just made it so special and cozy and I don't know, kind of romantic. We loved it. And man, when you leave for, I mean, we were only gone for seven days. When you come back during this time of the year specifically, it's like the world has changed. There are so many leaves on the trees, the like the little buds that we left are now actual leaves and they just keep getting bigger and bigger. And as we were driving back down our driveway, coming home, we were greeted by the most beautiful sight. I have to show you. You guys, the tulips bloomed. Oh my goodness. You guys, the tulips bloomed. <laughs> my kids just roast me now. This was such a happy sight to be greeted by. There are still some varieties that haven't bloomed, but some of them have. They're so pretty. But as you make your way down farther, look at these, oh my goodness. We left with only a few daffodils bloomed and so many more came up in different colors and varieties. And then also look at all of these tulips. This side of the driveway gets more sun. So these are a little bit more bloomed than this side, but I actually planted more over here. So I would say within the next several days or week or so, all of these tulips are going to show color. They are so pretty. Oh my goodness. And we have some absolutely gorgeous daffodils that have popped up. This one has kind of been knocked over. What? I know, they're so pretty. There was another one over here that was like a double bloom. Look at this one just gorgeous. I might be tempted to snip a couple of these because I feel like I want to see them in a vase in my kitchen. That one's pretty too. So many of the ones that bloomed while we were gone are like those specialty varieties and these ones were already bloomed just like your typical yellow. These are a little bit of a smaller variety. I got a mix an assortment of different ones um, as well as an assortment of different tulips and these are just so gorgeous. Did you hear 
Yes, I did hear you yelling. Cannot wait to see them bloom. And I'm actually waiting to um, film my April garden tour for my Patreon page uh, until these are more bloomed out a little bit because I think if I wait all the way until May, they will be on their way out. So I'm just gonna wait for like peak bloom time to film that video to show off these a little bit later on. Oh, and sneak preview on the Bella Poke tulips. Those have gotten so much taller. This one, this is probably the sunniest spot on our property. This one has definitely bloomed. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Oh, there's so much work to do through here. But let's just focus on this. Speaking of work to do, there is definitely more inside the house that I gotta keep tidying up and unpacking and making my way through the laundry. I just got a notification on my phone from our washing machine that it's time to transfer the wash into the dryer and thus the cycle continues. But first, birthday planning with Haley. A pink cake. A pink cake, sure. Yeah, with my old heart candies on the bed. Sure, that works for me. So do you want seven individual candles or do you want a, a big candle that is like in the shape of a seven? A big candle that's in the shape of a seven. Okay, on a pink cake with heart candies on them? Mm-hmm. Cool. Back to our, me and my, close to my birthday and it has lots of those pork ones. <laughs> Cause they're not <laughs> You're so cute. You want me? <laughs> you want me to order factor meals for your birthday? <laughs> yes. Okay. And they want to buy a house that looks like this. Oh. For your birthday. <laughs> this estate, this English estate, for your birthday. Um, you want to buy Pemberley? It, your birthday's on a Tuesday, which means Daddy's gonna be at work. So, do you want to save what we do for fun for your birthday until the weekend? So, Dad takes his day off that Tuesday. Oh, that would be so fun, but I don't think he can do that. Yes, he can. <laughs> I'll tell his boss. You'll tell his boss to yeah. let him have a day off. Because it's my birthday. <laughs> Just call, what would you say if you call up his boss? Say, I would say. Hello. Let Dad stay home. It's my birthday. <laughs> Hi, I'm calling in regards to your employee, Weston Bennett. Uh, it's my birthday on the 23rd, and I want him to stay home from work. <laughs> oh, and he'll say, yes. <laughs> that would be fun. But they really need Daddy. No, they don't. He's such a good worker, isn't he? We're so grateful. He works so hard. My hat? Yeah. There you go. Give my hair some sunshine. Do you want to maybe go see the tulips that day? Yeah. Or maybe we could see it this week sometime. Maybe tomorrow. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. You can have it be a whole birthday shebang. What's a birthday shebang? A shillelagh. What's a shillelagh? <laughs> I don't know. It's an Irish thing. <laughs> you know you're Irish? I am. Yep. Because your daddy's half Irish. And apparently I have some Irish too. Why? Because we were finding out more about our families. Why? Because it's interesting. Why? Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Okie doke. It is the next day. I know I said that I would keep working, and I did a little bit off camera, just puttering around and trying to get through the laundry and all of that. I definitely have more work to do today that I will take you guys along with me for, but... This morning we woke up, our power went out. There's an unexplained power outage going on right now where we live and uh, where we live, it can be out for quite a while. So we needed breakfast and coffee and we hit the road, brought some school with us and we're gonna visit the tulip fields and my favorite nursery because it's that time of the year and I'm ready to do some planting, do some sprucing up of the landscape around our house. So I have a few things that I'd like to pick up and every year we like to visit the tulip fields. So we're gonna do that. We're at the nursery right now. Let's go check out what they have and then go visit the tulips. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Be here, you know I really want you to stay. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. When you then go, you'll sometimes do it. Blue? Let's do this. I'll put the second one. 
There we go. Now we all have gloves. Mom, did you get this kind too? Uh, no. I just got these. Uh, what kind of brand? Ooh, I like the mix of them. Yeah, I know it's good. Yeah. Well, oh, we need to get some carrots. We'll find some carrots. Hopefully, oh yeah, let's do the rainbow blend. Hey, look. Sunflower. Oh, yep, there's some sunflowers. The yeah. French breakfast radishes this time. Can we buy? These have some golden beets in them. Oh, yeah. I want to do the same kind of, can we find snow peas? Are these them? Let's see. The snow peas that we had were so good. It was the mammoth melting. Yeah, that's Oh, the kind. yeah, these do. Those were so good. good. When I'm with you, the weekend never ends. They grew up so much since the last time we were here. They look like actual emus. <laughs> they do. They're so cute. interested in you guys? Like, what you doing? Look at them. There's Liam and Judah and Haley emus. Look what, at this there? one over here. There's a sheep. We saw so many sheep, of course, when we were in Ireland. There's just the one here at this nursery. This is Christensen's nursery in Skagit Valley. It's lambing season everywhere, but in Ireland where there are a ton of sheep, oh my goodness, the little lambs everywhere were just adorable like we never got sick of seeing them they were everywhere and so precious Home again, home again. What a beautiful day. It's always such a treat to go see the tulips. And we picked up a couple of things at the nursery. I got a couple of rose bushes, which will be gorgeous. They're the John F. Kennedy ones and they're like a white rose. I don't have any white roses yet. I just have the Julia Child yellow roses. So I got those and a couple of little herbs. Um, I have trouble starting my own herbs, so I usually get herb starts, except dill. I have to direct so that. Got a couple of things, and the sunshine is calling my name, but we've just gotta finish some stuff up here in the house so that I can actually enjoy what's going on outside. I still have laundry to finish up. In fact, I started a load when we got home because we do have power restored here, which is great and we are finishing up some homeschooling for the day. The kids are at the table here with me. And since we're sitting down and I kind of have to go through this stuff anyway and get it where it needs to go, I wanted to show you a little souvenir haul. I'm not much of a souvenir person. I don't like to bring in a bunch of extra junk into my house, but if it's something that's functional that I could use anyway, I will make the exception for that. Um, and then typically, if I don't know what to get or everything just kind of seems like junk, what I go for is a Christmas ornament. And so our tree is filled with ornaments from different places that we've visited and different trips that we've taken, and that's really fun. Um, I pretty much saved all of my souvenir shopping with the exception of that mug that I showed you and then also a, a woolen sweater that I bought there. I saved the rest of the souvenir budget for one particular place, which was so very special for us to visit. It was Kong, Ireland, County Mayo, um, which is kind of like on the West Coast, the Wild Atlantic Way, and it is one of the filming locations for one of my all-time favorite movies, 
The Quiet Man with Maureen O'Hara, John Wayne, and I can quote almost every line from that movie. I have seen it so many times. I grew up watching it. Weston also grew up watching it. It's really special in his family as well. So it was really fun to visit some filming locations. They have a replica cottage uh, all put together with some actual pieces from the movie, um, actual costumes that they wore and stage set pieces and props and it was a blast. It was so fun. And then they have a gift shop. And so that's where I got the majority of the um, souvenirs that we picked up. There was a little tour guide pamphlet uh, that you can go around the town. We didn't go to every location around the town because we were there actually quite early and a lot of these places weren't open yet, but it was a stop on the way with, with more traveling and road tripping that we had to do that day. I got the same little um, Christmas ornament for myself as well as for Weston's mom um, because we quote this line to each other all the time. <laughs> if you've seen the movie, you know this. The character, Nicolleen Og Flynn, he says, when I drink whiskey, I drink whiskey. When I drink water, I drink water. It's when he's offered water to like water down his whiskey because he's, you know, hitting the bottle a little hard. Ruthie and I quote this to each other and so I bought her this. <laughs> it's so goofy, but she will love it and I will love it too. So we'll both have that same one on our Christmas tree. We got Haley. This adorable little stuffed lamb. Did you love this? Yeah. Yeah, isn't it so cute? We saw that and immediately knew. That's the one for Haley. And then growing up, Weston always had one of these little traditional woolen hats. Um, I think I actually have a picture of him wearing his. And uh, we've always wanted to get one for the boys. The boys look a lot like Weston, and so we just thought it'd be sweet. Mm -hmm. All of the gift shops have this style hat everywhere in Ireland. Uh, but we thought that this was special because for the first time, like a couple of weeks before we left for our trip, we showed our kids the Quiet Man movie and they loved it. And so we thought that this would be a bit more meaningful. We got this, it's kind of a green color for Liam. And then Judah has a blue color that he has been wearing since the moment we gave it to him. It's so sweet. And that's a practical sort of, you can actually wear it and use it souvenir. That's kind of what I try to look for with souvenirs, not just like random little things that just take up space and collect dust. I'm always looking for art for our home. Um, so I was so excited to see these beautiful art prints that are of different scenes from The Quiet Man. This is by an artist named Tim Maloney. I will leave his website in the description box if you guys wanna check him out. But this one is called Welcome Home, Quiet Man, and it's beautifully matted here. And I have a couple of vintage frames that this would fit into. And this is from a very iconic scene in Quiet Man when he comes home to his family cottage from his childhood. Very, very sweet. Let me see. Oh, good job. <gasps> Where's that page? Yes. This is page 16. <gasps> where, where, where? Is that where? the one you want to do too? Yes. yes. <laughs> page 16. Good job. Okay, there you go. That's done for the day. Weston's uncle Paul um, is his mom's brother and he has always lived in Northern Ireland uh, with his wife Bev. They put together these sweet little bags for Weston and me and then Weston's brother and sister-in-law. He included some like authentic <laughs> candy that we don't have over here. Really fun little things that are kind of a staple in the area. And then he said, and just so you feel at home, I also included some American candy. There were also some bags of crisps as they call them, potato chips over there. Potato brand is pretty stinking good. And then he also just took the liberty of getting us some souvenirs from the places that he heard we were planning to visit. So we didn't even have to really go into the gift shop, which I actually don't like shopping for souvenirs, especially like little tchotchkes and stuff like this. And so he took care of it for us and it was so sweet. And I'm so glad that he did because it's even that much more meaningful because it's it's not necessarily something that I bought, but something that was given to me. So these are a couple of sweet little magnets. This is from Giant
Giants Causeway and it has it has these little sheep on it and then the basalt columns. So cute. It's kind of like a 3D one. And then here's a little like photo one of Carrick Fergus Castle. And then he also has a few little photos of the castle. We stayed in Bally Galley Castle Hotel and this is one of the older photos of it. It was built in 1625 and this photograph was taken in 1890. How cool is that? And then this is it in modern day. And this is the church that Leston's cousin got married in when we were there. It was so sweet. This was built in 1694, Donagendry Parish Church. Just beautiful. How sweet that we have these special little like curated souvenirs and mementos from our trip. So sweet. He also has like uh, travel guides and brochures and stuff that he included and because I like to garden. He got an Irish wildflower mix, a seed packet, and I am gonna go plant this within the next couple of weeks. Included a little caricature of, that's Paul, that's Bev. So very sweet. And they just had this little bottle ready for us. And we, we packed very light for our trip, just in a couple of carry-on sizes with room to spare because we knew that we would be getting a couple of souvenirs. Oh, he got less than this little keychain, the medieval helmet keychain. So, so thoughtful. Oh, I have to show you this too. This is totally beside the point, but Weston's other side of the family, um, his grandma Doris sent him a birthday card. We actually left for Ireland on Weston's birthday, so this arrived in the mail while we were gone. And she included some childhood pictures of Weston. Like when I say the boys resemble Weston, you can really see it in this picture. I believe he was 10 years old, 10 or 11 years old in this picture. So right around the boy's age, they turned 10 this year, which I cannot believe. <gasps> Look at how sweet. Oh, he's such a cutie pie. Oh, and this is when he was really little. I think he was like probably <laughs> two or three years old blue in this eyes. picture. I know, they changed to green when he got older. Isn't that funny? Uh -huh. Weston has green eyes now, but he didn't in this picture. I think by the time he was this age, he did though. There we go. You know, I keep saying that I'm gonna get to the laundry in this video. I keep telling myself that too. And I'm just, I don't think I'm gonna get to it. Such is life. I keep it real around here. And sometimes we don't get it all done. Our Costco grocery order just got delivered. We are so in need of groceries. I ordered a new pair of snips and pruners for gardening this year. And I noticed, I think this may be the first time that the heat activated little hatch at the top of my greenhouse has opened this year. It may have opened while we were in Ireland, but I didn't see it happen before that. We had some really good weather here while we were gone, thus the uh, color on the tulips. So I'm just putting that in the greenhouse and I'm headed inside not to do laundry because my family can't eat laundry for dinner. <laughs> so let's go make some dinner. It's more interesting to watch someone cook than it is to watch them sort laundry anyway, right? Tonight I'm gonna do a dish that is super easy to throw together. It's kind of like one of those Costco staples. You get the stone mill artichoke jalapeno parmesan dip, which you don't even use half of that. Uh, some baby spinach, chicken thighs, uh, and you kind of mix that all, cook it all up together. It's one of those just dump and go sort of things. Um, and then I'm gonna serve it alongside asparagus because it's asparagus season. Haley is gonna go snap the ends off of those for me and I'm gonna get the chicken started. See the part where it's thick like mom's finger? You kinda wanna go down until it's thick as your finger and snap it in that spot. Okay. So Haley finger width. Yep, but Hollywood, we were also in a place in Ireland that they called Hollywood. They actually had like a Hollywood sign on the hillside. It was so funny. It was, it was as we were getting into a mountain pass. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got the chicken thighs, the artichoke dip, some Worcestershire. Uh, I have some sliced mushrooms that I threw in there and then I found a can of, what are these? Sun-dried tomato halves 
and they've got sort of an herby flavor. So I'm gonna put the lid on it. Oh, I also have like salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Put the lid on it, let it simmer until that's cooked, um, until the chicken is up to temperature. And then I'm gonna rip up some baby spinach, throw that in there before serving it. And I'm gonna serve it with pasta and asparagus. Oh, I'm also throwing these capers in there too. Yay! <laughs> you love capers? Uh -huh. I threw some lemon slices in there, which, oh, I do have lemon juice in there. Um, this would almost be like a inauthentic chicken piccata. One of my favorite things to do after getting home from a trip is to cook a meal in my own kitchen. And this dinner turned out so good. It was so nice to be able to spend time together as a family, just catching up and chatting. We missed our kids so very much, but we were so grateful for the time that we spent in Ireland, just the two of us. I hope you enjoyed today's video, imperfect as it was. Thanks for coming along with me as I got some stuff done, as we had some downtime, enjoyed some beautiful springtime weather, and flowers and plants. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and be sure to come back next week for my next video. Thanks so much for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later.